Folks, we are working our way closer and closer to sunset. About 45 minutes from now, the sun will set. Let's talk about sunset times. We've got to look to the west. There goes the sun below the horizon. Technically, sunset is when those last rays drop below the horizon. Today, our sunset here in Westlaco is at 7.01 p.m. If you notice it's getting earlier, that's because it is. If you look ahead just a couple of weeks to November the 4th, two weeks from Saturday, 6.48 p.m., so 13 minutes less of daylight just two weeks down the road. If you go one more day to Sunday, November 5th, we lose an hour, 5.48 p.m. Of course, that's when we have the time change, the weekend of November 4th and 5th, so it'll be dark by 6 o'clock. So your evenings get much, much shorter here in just a couple of weeks, but we lose 13 minutes of daylight in the afternoons just between now and a couple of weeks from now. Let's look at temperatures. Here's where we stand right now. Everybody in the 80s, except for your Grand City at 93, 82 Port Isabel, 84 in Brownsville at this hour. Our low temperatures tonight, not much cooler than the upper 60s and low 70s. Humid conditions, patchy clouds, nothing big. And then tomorrow, we're right back up to 90 plus again, with the exception of Brownsville on the island at 87 and 83. But still, a very warm day for this time of year. Normal high is 87, so we'll be above that. In fact, there's that average high. And look, 91, 91, 91. Records are above that. Don't think we'll get there, but certainly above average as we head through the rest of the week and into the weekend. Here's your satellite today, and it does show those clouds moving across the region during the course of the daytime today. So it's not been just a clear blue sky today across all of the valley. I think this evening we'll continue to see patchy clouds, and that humidity will be with us. And tomorrow, it's a mix of clouds and sunshine again. I think probably not as much cloudiness as today, but at least some clouds around. Saturday, same kind of thing. It's another mix of clouds and sun. Showers, I think, are going to be hard to find in the valley. I think north of the valley, there'll probably be a few showers on Saturday, but here, not so much. I think it's a dry day across the area. Sunday, and every time we run this, it gets a little farther into the day Sunday, all the way up through 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Still no front. Front still to the north. It's due late in the day, so we're warm and humid until it gets here. And then the front comes through. Could trigger a shower, thunder shower. Again, the better chances to the north. Our chances here stand at about 30% on Sunday, and then drier air should build in behind that. So we're dry both Friday and Saturday, and then late Sunday, our chances ramp up to 30%. But again, if you look at that, that means parts of the valley probably won't see anything, so it's not going to be a valley-wide rainfall event. There's Texas tonight. More humid air continues to build in and will continue to do so over the next few days until that front gets here. So we're just warmer, more humid, warmer, more humid. Front finally, come, finally comes in late Sunday. Might trigger a shower, but then you see the dry air builds in very quickly behind it. That next weather maker is this thing up here off the west coast of the U.S. The front's already onto the coast of Oregon and Washington. That's due again in the valley. It looks like about Sunday. So if you headed to our coast, here's what you can expect there. There are tides, three of them, sea south or wind southeast 5 to 10, light chop on the bay, UV's high, water temperature both the bay and the surf at 78. So tonight, 69 for a low, not as cool as the last few nights, then tomorrow back up to 91, partly sunny, warmer, southeast wind about 8 to 16. We keep it at 91 all the way into the weekend, late Sunday, maybe a shower thunderstorm with the front, and then look at next week, not chilly by any means, but 80s by day and 50s and 60s by night, so it looks pretty comfortable, especially the mornings and evenings for next week. That's your updated First Point 5 forecast.